Hello everyone, myself Dr. Pratik from Department of Radio Diagnosis, Mysore Medical College and Research Institute. I will be presenting a paper on role of triple phase MDCT in the characterization of focal level lesions with cytopathological correlation. Introduction Focal liver lesion can be defined as any lesion in the liver other than the normal parenchyma with or without causing structural and functional abnormality of the hepatobiliary system. Prevalence of various liver lesions has markedly increased and presents a relatively common clinical dilemma, particularly with the increasing use of various imaging modalities in the diagnosis of abdominal symptoms. It is very important to correctly differentiate between benign or malignant lesions as there are many do not touch benign lesions like hemangioma, simple cysts, FNH, etc. Most of the primary and metastatic liver lesions receive their blood supply from the hepatic artery, thus reversing the normal proportion of hepatic blood supply, which is mainly by the portal vent to the hepatic artery. Accurate characterization of liver masses by cross-sectional imaging is particularly dependent on an understanding of the unique phasic vascular perfusion of the liver and the characteristic behavior of different lesions during multiphasic contrast imaging that is arterial, portal, equilibrium and delayed phases. Uh, aims and objectives of this study were to evaluate the usefulness of triphasic MDCT in the detection and characterization of focal liver lesions and provide information for further management and to assess the sensitivity and specificity of the triphasic computed tomography in accurate and reliable de determination of the nature of liver lesions in correlation with FNIC or histopathology. Coming to materials and methods, the study was a descriptive study and was conducted for a period of one year. The source of data were patients referred to our department with focal liver lesions who underwent triphasic MDCT. The sample size was 81. The calculation was based on an estimated prevalence of focal liver lesions amenable to triple phase studies as per the hospital prevalence at 5% level of significance and an absolute precision of 5% using confidence interval approach for proportion. Uh, patients of all age groups and of either gender who presented with clinical suspicion of liver disease, patients with suspected focal liver lesions by other imaging modalities were included in these studies. Patients with past history of hypersensitivity reaction to iodinated contrast agents, all pregnant females, and patients with deranged renal function tests and coagulation profile were excluded from the study. All the CT examinations were acquired by Siemens Somatom Definition H 128 slide helical CT scanner in arterial, portal venous, and equilibrium and delayed phases. All patients with mass lesions of liver except typical hemangiomas were subjected to FNSE or biopsy for pathological analysis. Results In our study, majority of the patients were in the age range of 41 to 60 years, which constituted 45.7% of the patient. The mean age group of the patient was 5th decade. There was a, a male preponderance seen, wherein 56.8% patients were males and 43.2% patients were females. 42 patients were diagnosed to have malignant focal liver lesions and 33 patients had benign focal liver lesions. Overall, most common malignant focal lesion was metastasis according, accounting for 40% of the cases. However, most common primary lesion, primary malignant lesion was HCC accounting for 13.3% of the cases. Amongst females, metastasis was the most common lesion seen in 12 patients, followed by hemangioma seen in 9 patients, hepatocellular carcinoma and cholangiocarcinoma, then two cases each of hepatic adenoma and focal nodular hyperplasia and one case of dysplastic nodule. Amongst males, metastasis seen in 18 patients and HCC seen in 13 patients were the most common lesions, followed by hemangioma and cholangiocarcinoma seen in 5 patients and two cases of regenerative nodules and one case of cystadenal carcinoma was seen. Uh, 17 patients had the history of smoking, 24 patients had a history of alcoholism, 4 patients had zero positivity for hepatitis B and 1 patient has zero positivity for hepatitis C. Uh, most of the patients uh, had no previous known risk factors. On plain scan, uh, 9 lesions showed calcification and 8 lesions showed fat components. Uh, 15 lesions showed ISPRD and 12 cases showed capsular detraction on plain scans, most of which were cholangiocarcinomas. Out of the 27 hypovascular lesions, 2 cases were benign and 25 cases were malignant. And out of the 54 hypervascular lesions, 18 cases were benign and 36 cases were malignant. On plain study, most of the benign uh, lesions, that is 15 cases, were and malignant uh, 45 cases were hypodense compared to normal surrounding hepatic parenchyma. On arterial phase, 
90 percent of the benign lesions showed enhancement and among the benign lesions 60 uh, percent of the lesions showed peripheral puddles of enhancement on arterial phase 15 percent cases showed heterogeneous enhancement 15 percent cases appeared hyperdense and 10 percent remained isodense on arterial phase among malignant lesions 41 percent of the lesions appeared hypodense 32.8 percent showed heterogeneous enhancement 11.5 percent showed peripheral rind of enhancement and 9.8% cases appeared hyperdense and 4.9% cases remained isodense to the liver. On portal venous phase, uh, most of the benign lesions showed progressive centripetal filling, which was seen only in benign uh, lesions. And 30% of the lesions showed heterogeneous enhancement. And the remaining 25% lesions remained hyperdense. Majority of the malignant lesions, on the other hand, showed heterogeneous or peripheral rind of enhancement. This heterogeneity was due to the presence of a non-enhancing area within which a shed of necrosis. On equilibrium phase imaging, majority of the benign lesions showed progressive centripetal enhancement. Among the malignant lesions, most of the cases which showed heterogeneous enhancement or arterial and portal venous phases became hypodense or isodense compared to the surrounding parenchyma, owing to the rapid washout of the contrast. 4.9% cases showed progressive centripetal enhancement. A case of hemangioma showed a well-defined hypodense lesion in the left lobe of liver. The lesion showed peripheral puddles of nodular discontinuous enhancement in arterial and portal venous phase with progressive centripetal filling in delayed phase. Case of no, focal nodular hyperplasia showed a well-defined isodense lesion with central hypodense area in the left lobe of liver, which showed homogeneous enhancement in arterial and portal venous phases with central non-enhancing areas. The lesion turned isodense to liver parenchyma in equilibrium phase, and there was delayed enhancement of the central hypodense area, which suggested of scar. Case of hepatic adenoma showed a well-defined hyperdense lesion in the right lobe of liver which showed intense enhancement in arterial and portal venous phase and the lesion turned isodense on equilibrium and delayed phase. And there was no evidence of central scar. Case of Wilson's disease with regenerative nodules showed uh, multiple lesions in the liver which showed enhancement only in the portal venous phase. The lesion remained isodense to liver in all the uh, rest all phases and were unidentifiable in other phases. A case of chronic liver disease with dysplastic nodule, the liver showed surface nodularity with cross ascites. A isodense lesion noted in the left lobe of liver was seen, which showed enhancement in arterial and portal venous phases. The lesion did not show washout in equilibrium and delayed phases and remained isodense to the liver. In a case of HCC, the liver showed surface micronodularity and a fairly well defined. Isodense lesion with internal calcification in the right lobe of liver was seen, which showed heterogeneous enhancement on arterial and portal venous phase with washout and enhancement of the capsule on delayed phases. In a case of carcinoma of stomach with liver meds, the liver showed multiple well-defined isodense lesions randomly distributed in both lobes. The lesions show minimal enhancement in arterial phase, a peripheral rind of enhancement with few central non-enhancing areas in portal venous phase and washout in delayed phase. Enhancing wall thickening was noted involving the lesser curvature of stomach with perigastric lymph nodes. In a case of mass forming intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma, an ill defined hypodense lesion noted involving both lobes of liver was seen, which showed minimal peripheral enhancement in arterial phase, progressive centripetal heterogeneous enhancement with multiple central non enhancing areas in portal and equilibrium phases, which suggested of necrosis. The lesion was uh, seen encasing both branches of the portal vein rather than infiltrating them. Mild interhepatic biliary radical dilatation with capsular retraction was seen. Progressive pers persistent central enhancement was noted in the delayed phases. Coming to discussion, a total of 81 patients were included in this study. 20 lesions were benign and 61 lesions were malignant. Most common benign lesion was hemangioma. The most common malignant lesion was metastasis seen in 30 patients followed by hepatocellular carcinoma seen in 18 patients. In a study conduct conducted by Chandrasekhar Prakash Ahirwar et al., there were 40 benign and 60 malignant lesions. This correlated with our study. In our study, most of the patients were in the age range of 41 to 60 years followed by uh, more than 60 years. And there was a male preponderance of cases. In a similar study conducted by Sakshi Tomar et al., maximum number of patients were aged between 61 and 80 years. 
followed by those aged between 41 and 60 years and male preponderance was noted. This correlated with our study. In our study, hemangioma was the most common benign lesion accounting for 14 cases. On arterial phase imaging, 12 cases showed peripheral puddles of enhancement on arterial phase with progressive centripetal filling on portal venous and equilibrium phases. These findings were in agree agreement with those of Bartolotta et al. There were two cases of FNH in our study and there was heterogeneous enhancement seen in arterial and portal venous phase which became isodense on equilibrium phase. The scar showed enhancement on equilibrium and delayed phase imaging. Similar findings were described by studies uh, conducted by Blasher, Feder, Ferris Javi, and Anderson SW study. Two patients with cirrhosis showed regenerative nodules. The nodules remained isodense in all phases except in portal venous phase in which mild enhancement was noted. Three cases of dysplastic nodules were noted. None of the lesions showed washout on equilibrium phase imaging. These findings are in correlation with the study conducted by J.H. Lim et al. Out of 18 hepatocellular carcinoma cases, all the cases had cirrhotic liver. On post-contrast imaging, 17% showed typical pattern of heterogeneous enhancement in late arterial phase and similar findings were described in a study done by Andrea Lucky et al. Rapid water washout of the contrast in portal venous phase was noted in 12 cases and 17% of the cases showed washout in equilibrium phase. Similar findings were obtained in a study by Ferlan et al. There are nine cases of cholangiocarcinoma in our study. Seven cases were associated with intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation. Six cases were peripherally located and showed capsular retraction. Take him et al. in the study of 34 cases of cholangiocarcinoma showed that 76% cases were associated with intrahepatic biliary radical dilatation. 88.9% cases showed no enhancement on arterial phase with progressive enhancement in portal venous and equilibrium phases. There was progressive centripetal enhancement on delayed sequence. Similar findings as described uh, by Nisha et al. We had 30 cases of metastasis, which was the most common lesion in our study. This finding correlated well with the study done by Goel S. et al., who had 42.1% metastatic lesions in their study. Colorectal carcinoma and carcinoma of the stomach were the most common site of primary neoplasms in our study. Uh, conclusion, uh, triple phase uh, CT proved to be a valuable tool in the diagnosis of focal liver lesions. Studying the pattern of enhancement in arterial, portal venous and equilibrium phases helped in better characterization of the lesion. MDCT, owing to its multiplayer image reconstruction and deformation properties, aided in the detection of multifocal lesions and early detection of focal lesions in the presence of underlying liver disease. Triple phase MDCT was very sensitive in diagnosing all the cases where there was typical enhancement pattern for the invasion lesion concerned. Triphasic MDCT of liver is a standardized CT procedure which enables in detection and characterization of vast majority of focal lesions in the liver in the presence of different pathological conditions and multi-level disease. These are my references. Thank you.